Welcome to the homework for lesson nine. This is module four of grade three. Please write your name here first. It says for number one, use the grid to answer the questions below. A says draw a line to divide the grid into two equal rectangles. Shade in one of the rectangles that you created. Okay, so two equal rectangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means if I drew a line right down the middle vertically, and you could draw a line horizontally uh, halfway, I think, couldn't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could do the same thing horizontally, and it would work. So. draw a line using a straight edge actually I am going to do this vertically I mean horizontally and shade in one of the rectangles that I created you don't have to make this super dark we just want to make it look shade it in and let's go back I'm gonna go back here and clean up my edges with an eraser all right part a done label the side lengths of each rectangle so this is four and one, two, this is four and eight, right? This one is four and eight. Done. Write an equation to show the total area, total area of the two rectangles. So, we could just add these two fours together. could do that and call it the whole thing one just multiply eight times eight or we could do this we could write uh, four times eight plus four times eight right because the, the first rectangle is going to be four times the shaded one is going to be four times eight and then we're going to add I'm going to put that in parentheses add that to the one that's not shaded which is also four times eight Now each one of these is four eighths is you could count it, but it's better to know your facts. Thirty two, thirty two equals sixty four. There. Alexa cuts out the two equal rectangles from problem 1a and puts the two shorter sides together. Draw Alexa's new rectangle and label the side lengths below. So she's going to put the two shorter sides together. So that means this one and that one in my picture which means it's going to be two fours put together are going to make an eight and what this means really is you're talking about putting the two shorter sides to get putting the two shorter sides together so I think what this means is it's going to be like this so the the two shorter sides are touching each other like that so this one was a four by eight and this one was a four by eight uh, and we want to label so the new rectangle isn't going to have this line in the middle and these two eights are 
now together on the same side so they're not 8 anymore because it's 8 plus 8 so it's 16 like that and the area of the new longer rectangle is 4 times 16 which equals we know what it is because it's we did it already for part C it's the same two rectangles added together 32 plus 32 64 right four times so it has to be whether it's four times 16 or four times eight plus four times eight no matter how you figure it out it's the same area 64 and does it say whether these are centimeters or anything it doesn't so the area is just going to be these are units and the area is 64 square units is the area of the new longer rectangle equal to the total area well we already just talked about that one it has to be right because explain why or why not it is equal because it is the same two rectangles add it together and then we could also write that in the first one I had 32 plus 32 equals 64 64 and the other one I had uh, 4 times 16 Let me just fix the 64 here, make it a little more readable. Square units. 